if 2020 was just about getting my ass off the couch and just getting out there and doing it, 2021, last year, was higher, longer, harder, doing more difficult stuff. This year, I'd probably have to characterize as diversity in terrain, let's say. Just lots of different places to hike, you know, from above the tree line alpine stuff at the Stein with Jordan to the gorgeous meadows at Manning Park with Mike and Jordan to the East Coast Trail and the sea cliffs, which really cool with Adam and Nadine and then did a lot of hiking in Hawaii with Caitlin. So tropical. So it's a really cool year. There's lots of different things to experience. So without further delay, hope you enjoy this year's adventures movie. In May, Mike and I thought we needed something to do. So we decided on the Okanagan Mountain in Kelowna because it's a good three days and a little bit difficult. Day one brought us to the top of the mountain where we found quite a bit of snow. It was a solid 605 meters elevation gain followed by almost 1,200 meters of loss down to Okanagan Lake. I'll admit, I was pretty tired after this day, but pulling into this gorgeous campsite, it all went away. Day two is a little bit easier, about 16 kilometers, 550 up and almost 600 down. The problem is that last hill at the very end. We knew we were going to have to climb that thing the next day. Pulling into camp at the end of day two, it was super sunny, super warm, just a great way to finish. The last day wasn't too far, about 13 kilometers, but a pretty significant climb right off the start, which didn't really end until about the eight kilometer mark. Should be almost done. South parking lot to the north parking lot to Goods Creek back to the south parking lot. There she is. There's the bridge. The car you can just make out there on the left. Over there, that's where our tents were. Thursday night. I think we did it. Well done. Oh yes. yeah. And finishing off with a famous burger at Shoot Lake. I'm proud to be a human bird. Here's the reason why. I'm free as the wind and the waves wash the sands. There's no place.
The East Coast Trail. My first trip to Newfoundland. Adam was working there for about a year. He was just about to head home. And he tells me, hey, you haven't visited me yet. So I figured it was a good excuse to go and visit him and maybe do some of the East Coast Trail. He and Nadine decided to follow along. Not too long, only about 28 kilometers or so. Pretty decent elevation gain for the three days that it was going to take us. Day one, East Coast Trail, starting at somewhere called Bay Bowls. A lot of flies around right now, not too bad. Good temperature, maybe 18, 20. Starting out with Nadine and Adam. Should be a short day today, about 13K over to the spout. Climbing Everest. How'd that make you feel? <sighs> Adam? Hungry. <laughs> <laughs> and that brings us to the end of our hike. Had such a good time in St. John's though that I thought I'd throw in a couple more images and videos for you. I wanted to do the Stein Trail since pretty much 2000 when I started my crusade of hiking. Um, the PCT was first choice, but the Stein was a close second. But COVID knocked that plan down. And then the following year, still COVID. 
This year, the Stein opened for about a week in June. Figured right on. But then they closed about a week after and there was a big fire near the East Trailhead. So again, the Stein was out of business. But the West was fine. So Jordan and I decided to just park on the West, walk up to the Alpine, have some fun for a few days and then walk straight back again. So we're a day and a half into the hike. Day one was toughish, maybe 12 kilometers, 1200 meters elevation gain. Really tough from Lindsay Lake straight up to the Lindsay Cabin. Got there, it was quite nice. Some people there. So far today, I think about 400, 500 feet elevation gain, or meters, pardon me, right away. But we're in the Alpine and you can't beat this. Snow. Jordan's gonna roll around naked in the snow, he said. cool I must say Mike you know what you just did I can only imagine is something like this but got some clouds got some cool mountains some snow and just this ridiculous view in behind me now Wow so that's a cornice you're gonna see what that looks like from the other side as we go over here to the right. That's nice. Holy crap. Oh yeah. That's cool. But then this is even cooler. Good lord. So, there's this. I'm sure Caitlin would love that I'm standing right close to this edge, but it's necessary. Wow. All right, we're at the top of whatever mountain. What, what pass is this? Cherry Pit Pass. Cherry Pit Pass. So, Okay, we gotta walk here, past these trees, a little bit up, and then we can walk in that direction. Pretty sure. We'll find out soon. Caltha Lake, probably where we're gonna spend tonight, I think. But not before we do this. <laughs> pass, Cherry Pit Pass, whatever. There's Jordan. I did want to do the entire Stein Valley Traverse. So today we decided just to go look at Tundra Lake just because we were so close. Beautiful. What do you think? <laughs> it looks hideous. Thank you. 
then we took a trip over to Figure Eight Lake, about a six kilometer hike or so, I think each way. Not too tough, the lake was really cool, really cold, and we were too wimpy to jump in. Yep, a bit of a regret. We combined the last two days into one day. It was just too buggy to stay outside. It was too hot to stay inside the tent. So we did the 20 kilometer, I don't know, 17, 1800 meter descent back to the parking lot. I'll leave you with one final parting bit of advice. When you're raking ramen, don't turn your jet boil upside down and shake to drain that water. Jordan, Mike, and I had a few days, and we thought about doing something in Manning Park. Tossed around a couple of ideas, and we decided on the Three Brothers Mountain Hike. The first brother, that is. It's about 20 kilometers return, a little over 800 meters elevation gain, and it's quickly moving to the top of my favorite hikes list. The views you're going to see soon are pretty epic in my opinion. Of course, it is forest fire season. When we got to Manning Park Lodge, it was pretty smoky. On the way up the mountain to the trailhead, it's still pretty bad. But as it would have it, by the time we got at the trailhead, we were well above the smoke. climb up first brother of course Mike would be like um, whatever <laughs>
y'all seeing Rin's theme within y'all scanner When you focus on the gun, things all things on to the side Your hiking partner over here. Come on in. Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Come on in, man. Yeah. yeah. All right. What's your opinion of uh, Cypress Lake so far? <laughs> Pretty awesome. Yeah. Lake's frozen. Sky's blue. Yeah. It's clear. Uh, the bears are leaving us alone so far, so that's so so far so good. Yeah. What about Randy? Is he leaving you alone? <laughs> well, well, all right. Ew, I didn't want to see that. <laughs> <laughs>